Hello, my name is Yanis. I'm here at the Science Museum late night session and I'm going to read to you about Global Positioning System, also known as GPS. The Global Positioning System is a space-based satellite navigation system that provides location and time information in all weather conditions, anywhere on uh, or near the Earth, where there is uh, an unobstructed okay unobstructed line of sight to four or more gps satellites the system provides critical capabilities to military civil com and commercial users around the world it is maintained by the united states government and is freely accessible to anyone with a gps receiver i mean now there are many paragraphs on on the business side or and development side of uh, gps uh, but i'm going to skip down to the uh, the geometry uh, of the gps and how it works which is quite convenient because we are standing um, next to the hub, uh, hyperbola and as you'll hear in a minute, it's very relevant to the GPS systems. Uh, so the basic concepts of GPS. Uh, the GPS system concept is based on time. The satellites carry uh, atomic clocks uh, which are synchronized and very stable. Any drift from true time maintained on the ground is corrected daily. Likewise, the satellite locations are monitored precisely. User, receive, user receivers have clocks as well, however, they are not synchronized with the true time and are less stable. GPS satellites transmit data continuously which contains uh, their current time and position. A GPS receiver listens to multiple satellites and solves equations to determine the exact position of the receiver and its deviation from the true time. At a minimum, four satellites must be in view of the receiver in order to compute four unknown quantities. Three position coordinates and clock uh, deviation from satellite time. Each GPS satellite can continually broadcast a signal um, uh, that includes a pseudo-program code uh, that is known to the receiver. By time aligning, a receiver generated a version and the receiver measured a version of the code. The time of arrival um, of a defined point in the code sequence called an epoch can be found in the receiver clock uh, timescale. A message that includes the time uh, of transmission of the code epoch uh, and the satellite position at the time. Conceptually, the receiver measures the uh, time, uh, time of arrival uh, according to its own clock uh, of four satellites. From the TOAs, basically TOA is time of arrival, but just TOA for short. Uh, from the TOAs and the TOTs, and TOT is the time of transmission. So I'm going to go back a bit. Conceptually, the receiver's, uh, receiver measures the TOAs uh, of four satellite signals. From the TOAs and the TOTSs, uh, the receiver forms four time uh, of flight values, TOF. Wow, too many abbreviations here. Which are approximately equivalent to receiver satellite range differences. The receiver then computes its three-dimensional position and clock deviation from the four TOFs, TOFSs. In practice, the receiver uh, position uh, and the offset of the receiver clock relative to the GPS system time are computed simultaneously using the navigation equations to process the TOFS. The receiver's uh, Earth-centered solution location is usually converted to latitude, longitude, and height relative to an ellipsoidal Earth model. Uh, the, height, uh, the height may then be further converted to height relative to the geoid, essentially mean sea level. These coordinates may be displayed perhaps on a moving map uh, and or recorded and used in other systems, uh, for example, vehicle guidance. Oh, actually, I actually wish they actually talk a bit more about hyperbolas here. But uh, the reason actually for four, shall I, shall I talk? Yeah, actually the reason for four, for four um, satellites is because let's say if you want to track something in two dimensions, you need uh, three, three um, um, transmitters. Let's say if you want to do in two dimensions, just on a single line, uh, if, if one dimension, you just need you need two, uh, two receivers. The reason for four for four transmitters is uh, because we're measuring uh, x y position, which is longitude uh, latitude, and also the height position. Therefore, there's four satellites. And actually, how they do it is they uh, construct hyperbola. And let's say between um, two tr uh, two transmitters, uh, produce a hyperbola that looks like this. And uh, if, if you, remove, you move, use more than uh, one transmitter, uh, you actually construct more than one of these. And the idea is that, let's say, if you have four transmitters, they'll have three intersection points. And hopefully they all intersect the same point, and that point will, will point to the location of where you are at the moment. Um, Maybe you should add to Wikipedia. Huh? It, it's somewhere on there, but I don't think it's on the GPS. I think it's on Wikipedia, but it's of wave source localization. And it's also used in radar system, and it's also used. Uh, this is the same principle is also used in sound source localization, GPS, radars. What else? 
um, sonar system, underwater systems. There's a lot of uses for it as well. So yeah. <laughs>